Here are the readings for Friday in the 13th week in ordinary time. Today's first reading is from the book of Genesis chapter 23 verses 1 to 4, 19, chapter 24 verses 1 to 8, 62 to 67. And the gospel is from the gospel of Matthew chapter 9 verses 9 to 13. The first reading, a reading from the book of Genesis. The span of Sarah's life was 127 years. She died in Kiryat Arba in the land of Canaan, and Abraham performed the customary mourning rites for her. Then he left the side of his dead one and addressed the Hittites, "Although I am a resident alien among you, sell me from your holdings." a piece of property for a burial ground that i may bury my dead wife after the transaction abraham buried his wife sara in the cave of the field of machpela facing mamre in the land of canaan abraham had now reached a ripe old age and the lord had blessed him in every way abraham said to the senior servant of his household who had charge of all his possessions put your hand under my thigh and i will make you swear by the lord the god of heaven and the god of earth that you will not procure a wife for my son from the daughters of the canaanites among whom i live but that you will go to my own land and to my kindred to get a wife for my son isaac The servant asked him, "What if the woman is unwilling to follow me to this land? Should I then take your son back to the land from which you migrated?" "Never take my son back there for any reason," Abraham told him. "The Lord, the God of heaven, who took me from my father's house and the land of my kin, and who confirmed by oath the promise he then made to me i will give this land to your descendants he will send his messenger before you and you will obtain a wife for my son there if the woman is unwilling to follow you you will be released from this oath but never take my son back there a long time later isaac went to live in the region of the negeb One day toward evening he went out in the field and as he looked around he noticed that camels were approaching Rebecca too was looking about and when she saw him she alighted from a camel and asked the servant Who is the man out there walking through the fields towards us That is my master replied the servant Then she covered herself with her veil. The servant recounted to Isaac all the things he had done. Then Isaac took Rebekah into his tent. He married her and thus she became his wife. In his love for her, Isaac found solace after the death of his mother Sarah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Our response shall be Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Who can tell the mighty deeds of the Lord or proclaim all his praises? Response: Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Blessed are they who observe what is right, who do always what is just. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. response give thanks to the lord for he is good visit me with your saving help that i may see the prosperity of your chosen ones rejoice in the joy of your people and glory with your inheritance response give thanks to the lord for he is good gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia Come to me all you who labor and are burdened and I will give you rest says the Lord 
Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, O Lord Jesus Christ.